Hello all, welcome to Pabli Chat Flow. So today we learn how to create a chatbot that automatically replies to customer messages, collect their important details and provide them the relevant information. So chatbots are essential for businesses because they save time and improve the customer experience by instantly responding to messages. So instead of manually replying to every inquiry, a chatbot can handle the conversation more effectively, right? So so this ensures that customers get the right information while businesses collect the important details automatically. And today, in order to create a chatbot, we are going to use Pabli Chatflow. And we are going to explore the most important feature of Pabli Chatflow, which is flows. So now from the left side of the bar, we have to simply go towards this flows option. All right. So as you can see that I've successfully opened my flows section. And now over here, you can see a button in the top right corner, which is add flow. So you simply have to click on this add flow in order to create a new flow. All right. So let's take an example today. So suppose we offer Java course and customers frequently ask about it on WhatsApp. So instead of answering the same question repeatedly, we can create a chatbot that instantly responds, asks for the customer's qualification and email which is their details and then provide them the course details. Alright, so now let's start by building a chatbot step by step. Alright, so the first step in creating a chatbot is selecting the trigger. This defines when the chatbot should respond. Alright, so over here we are going to choose some keywords with the help of which the chatbot is going to get activated. So I'm just going to use some major commonly used keywords like hey, hello and hi. So I'm just going to select these as my keywords which is hey, hi and then hello. So yes, you can see that I've successfully added the keywords right over here. But not only the keywords, we also have to add regex right over here. But before adding this regex right over here, I'll explain it to you with a really simple example. So let's say one person might type and say, tell me about the Java course. While the another might write and say, I need more information about the Java course. Or another might say I'm interested in Java course. So instead of listing every possible variation as a keyword right over here, we use regex, which is regular expressions, to create a more smarter trigger. Alright, so in order to enter the regex right over here, we have to use a specific pattern. But before entering the regex, I'll just explain you this. So as you can see that it is written, enter regex to match the substring trigger. Enable toggle for each sensitive regex. So this functionality is only for case sensitivity. It is not mandatory to enable the toggle while entering the regex. Alright, we are going to move on forward. I'm just going to switch it on right over here. And now we have to use a pattern in order to enter this regex and if you want to learn more about this pattern i'm just going to add a document link in the description box you can check it out and learn more about this pattern i'm directly going to enter my regex right over here as this which is interested purchase java and buy so you can see that i've entered these regex right over here all right so we're going to move on forward so next step is i want to ask the qualification of my customer or you can see of my lead all right for that i'm just going to go towards this actions right over here and as you can see i'm just going to select this add question step i'm just going to drag and drop it right over here and yes you can see that we have successfully came up with this question so i'm just going to simply connect this trigger and this question for that i'm just going to start the connection right from here and connect it right over here so as you can see that i've successfully connected this and now we're going to move on forward towards the step two so first i'm just going to add the qualifications of my potential customers so that i can collect some customer information too right so first instead of directly giving them the course details i'm just going to ask for the qualification for that i'm just going to enter the message right over here so now after entering this message we also have to select a contact custom field so that automatically our contact gets updated whenever my customer or my potential customer gives their qualification. So for that, I'm just going to open this contact customer field. And as you can see that I've already created this custom field of my contact, which is qualifications. So if you want to know how to create this custom field, what you have to do is you have to go towards the left side of the bar towards the settings. And over here, you're going to get the option of contact custom fields. So I'm just going to open this contact custom fields in a new tab. 
and yes over here you are going to see the contact custom fields so you can see that i've created three custom fields right over here which is address email and qualification if you want to create more you can go towards this add more field button give your field a name and click on this save i've already created these three and i'm just going to use these only so i'm just going to close this and i'm just going to select this contact custom field right from here which is qualification as soon as you're going to create a new contact field right over here automatically that will appear right over here too so you can simply select it right from here like i did and now it's asking me for the format of the reply so i'm just going to keep it as text over here only because the qualifications will be in text only all right so i'm just going to select it as text and now it is asking me for the number of attempt so i'm just going to keep it as one if you wish you can definitely give more attempts it is saying enter validation message so if you want you can definitely enter validation message i don't wish to do so so i'm just going to leave it as blank all right so now i've successfully asked my customer or my potential customer about their qualification all right now further what i want is i want to ask them for the email all right so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to add once again this ask question i'm just going to drag and drop it right over here and now once again i'm just going to connect it with this question thing all right now after connecting this i'm just going to enter my message right over here so yes you can see that i've successfully entered this message now after this again we are going to go towards this custom field select it as email this time and now this time for the format i'm just going to select it as email right over here too i'm just going to keep the number of attempts as one only so yes you can see that we have successfully asked our potential customer about their qualification and then the email too now what i want is after they are providing me the email i want to send another message so for that i'm just going to start building a connection right from here and as you can see that as soon as we're going to stop it right over here it is saying choose content type so here you simply have to select it as this which is text plus button so i'm just going to select it right over here and yes you can see that we have successfully selected it all right so now once again it is asking me to enter the message all right so i'm just going to enter my message right over here Yes, you can see over here is the message which is got it. Now, would you like to see the syllabus? Reply one for yes or two for no. So, I am asking my potential customer, do they want to know more about the syllabus of this course? All right. So, for that, I am just going to add buttons right over here in this message to make it easy. So, I said reply one for yes and two for no. So, I am just going to go towards this add button thing and I am just going to add a text right over here which is one. Once again, I am just going to click on this add button. and add another button which is two so yes you can see that i've successfully added two buttons right over here which is one and two so i said reply one for yes and reply two for no so i am just going to build another connection right over here further with the help of one which is yes so if they are going to reply with one i am going to send them the syllabus all right so i'm just going to move on forward towards this one i'm just going to add another connection right over here select the content type as text plus button all right once again i'm just going to enter the message which i want to send if they select one so yes you can see that this is the message i want to send if they select one all right which is this which says here is the syllabus of our java course you can see the syllabus of our java course and then it is saying would you like to book a free consultation call with our advisor reply yes to book and no if you need more time once again you can see that i'm just going to add two more buttons right over here which is yes and no if they are going to select yes then they can consultation call would be booked and if they are going to select no then the consultation call will not be booked for that i'm just going to add this button right over here i'm just going to click on this add button field i'm just going to enter the text as yes right over here and i'm just going to add another button and enter the text as no over there so as you can see that i've successfully did this too now for the what i want is if they are going to reply with yes i'm just going to send a message as this so first i'm just going to add another connection right over here select the content type as text plus button as you know by now all right so now i'm just going to enter the message which i want to send if they are going to reply with yes all right so you can see that this is the message i want to send to my potential customer if they are going to reply with yes but i'm just going to add a no message to right over here for that i'm just going to connect this no right over here with the content type text plus button only all right so now for the no message i want the message to be so yes you can see that this is the message i want to send if my potential customer selects the button 
pattern of no so yes you can see that i've successfully built this flow all right so now to complete this flow i'm just going to give this flow a name let's say that i'm just going to give my flow a name which is edutech all right so i'm just going to rename it as edutech right over here so as you can see that i've successfully renamed this right over here and after renaming this i'm just going to click on this save you have to keep in mind that you also have to rename your flow so that you can check it later you have to keep in mind that you also have to keep this flow as active right from here and then you simply have to click on this save so as you can see that we have successfully saved this flow and now i'm just going to test this flow once for that i'm just going to open my whatsapp and i'm just going to send a whatsapp message which is i want to buy java course let's say that i'm just going to send this i want to buy java course so as you can see that over here i haven't used any keyword which was hey hi or hello i'm directly going to send this message which is i want to buy a java course i'm just going to send it right over here and as soon as we're going to send it you can see that within second it is saying hello thank you for your interest in our java programming course before we proceed could you please share your highest qualifications so over here i'm just going to select my highest qualifications so as you can see that i've simply entered this and now i'm just going to send it right to a hair and yes as soon as i'm just going to send it you can see it is saying now please share your email id so we can complete the course details so yes you can see that i've entered my email id and now i'm just going to send them the email id too and yes you can see now after sending the email id it is saying got it now would you like to see the syllabus and if i reply with yes i'm just going to get the syllabus and to reply with yes i'm just going to select this button which is one so yes you can see that i've selected this button and over has the syllabus it is saying great has the syllabus of your java course you can see the syllabus further it is saying would you like to book a free consultation call reply yes to book and know if you need more time all right so i'm just going to go towards this yes right over here and yes you can see awesome our advisor will contact you soon so with this we have successfully booked this free consultation call after clicking on this yes let's say that i'm just going to click on this no to and check the reply and yes over here you can see that we have received the reply it is saying no problem if you decide to enroll click on this enroll now link have a great day all right so yes you can see that with this we have successfully completed this flow but i'm just going to go towards my pabli chart flow account and we are going to go towards the left side of the bar and then we are just going to open this inbox section in a new tab all right over here you can see that in our inbox you can find the complete conversation which we had you can see that we received the message which is i want to buy the java course you can see the reply the message the reply and the message not only this you can see the customer shared their details like the qualification and the email id so you can see that over here is my customer details and over here you can see a field of contact custom field so i'm just going to open this field and yes you can see the details of my customer have been automatically added right over here you can see the email and the qualification automatically added right over here without any manual efforts all right so not only replying and sending messages to customer but also we can collect the customer inquiries and details and add it right over here like i did all right so yes this is the powerful feature of pabli chat flow so okay as you saw that we use some features of pabli flow right over here but pabli chat flow has many another useful features too that can enhance the chatbot functionality so over here you can see many another features which is ask address ask for a location so if you're running a business with which is location based you can definitely use this ask a location i use ask a question so you can use ask a question too if you want to set custom fields you can definitely use this set custom fields and if you want to categorize users based on their response for future automation you can use this add tag option too and if you want to connect the chatbot with external systems to fetch or send the data you can use this api request so as you can see that i specifically designed this chatbot for java course in queries only but the same logic can be applied to any course or business it will help you in automating responses collecting important details and providing the instant support not only sending messages like this you can send templated messages too you can simply add the content type as template message and send the template messages to all right 
and this is for this video we have successfully created a chatbot that replies to messages collect customer details and provide them the information all automatically i showed you the example of a successful flow right over here too now you go try it out yourself and see how easy it is to automate conversations with pabli chat flow and if you found this tutorial helpful stay tuned for more automation tips see you in the next video with another magical flow thank you for watching